potato lovers, today cheese and potato souffle. Boil 900 grams of peeled and diced potato until tender. Drain, then mash until utterly smooth. They need to be smoother than the smoothest thing in Smoothland. When you're happy that they're as smooth as they can be, and then some, pop it in a bowl and leave it to cool. Butter the inside of a four pint souffle dish, including the sides. Add in a couple of teaspoons of plain or all purpose flour, or cornstarch if you prefer, and then roll the flour around the inside of the dish. Then when you've lined the inside, just tip out any excess. Et voila! Next, take eight eggs and split them into whites and yolks. Respect my hexagonal packing. When the potatoes cool, add in the egg yolks and mix well. Then season and add 100 grams of a good flavoured cheese. I'm using a mixture of Stilton and extra mature cheddar. Then mix together. Mmm, creamy potatoey goodness. Now whisk the egg whites. And when you can get it to make peaks, you can stop. Now fold the egg whites into the potato mixture. You might just want to do this a little bit at a time, but use a metal spoon and a kind of chopping action. You say potato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Potato, tomato, potato. It will take a little time to get this properly mixed, so don't be in a hurry. Don't get impatient and do not stir it. Fold and chop. Oh, that's all nicely mixed now. I can spoon it into the souffle dish. Spread it out a bit. Now bake a 200 fan oven, 220 normal oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Now the rule with souffle is that you never open the oven door until it's cooked. And the reason is quite simple. If you open the oven door, the air in the oven cools. If the air in the oven cools, the air in your souffle cools. If the air in your souffle cools, it contracts and your souffle collapses. It's called science! And there's our lovely light and fluffy souffle. Serve immediately, before it all collapses. I like to serve this with a simple salad or some steamed vegetables. And you can always jazz the souffle up a bit by adding in little bits of chopped cooked meat. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure you visit my website tiddlybusykitchen.com where you'll find lots of other potato recipes and other stuff too. Thanks for watching. Until next time, good harvest.